welcome back to my youtube channel i'm michael of mod skating services don't forget to subscribe so in this video i'm going to teach you a simple approach to making sugar flowers it's very simple it's very easy so stay glued don't go anywhere so we need our gum paste and our groove board rolling pin floral wire our ball to our foam pad and of course our vena so all we need to do now is roll our paste in our groove board that we use the path with the lines so i'm just going to roll out our paste on our groove board very thin to make your sugar flowers look more realistic you have to make sure your petals are very very thin afterwards we reach out to our rose cutter you can use any size so i'm going to teach you the basics then you can just go ahead and make something beautiful for your own self so you take out any rose cutter then you start cutting out your petals so i'm going to cut them out when we are done we insert our floral wire but we have to dip that in our edible glue edible glue is made from our cmc and chilled water about a teaspoon of cmc and about three fourth cup of chilled water let that rest for some few minutes then your your edible glue is ready so i'm just going to push our flower wire in our edible petal that we've cut afterwards we add a bit of cornflour to our vena then we just press gently not too hard because you end up exposing your wire so you press gently then we just take it off so as you can see we have our petal which has been vain they are going to just fill the whole edges yes it's very very easy please do give it a try then we just set it in our apple crate to dry completely so here we have our petal so we're going to do another one we push in our wire we dip it in the glue first we push in our wire when you're done we vein then we fill the edges then we just dry it in app crate that's our apple crate you can use your petal drying crate as well to dry your petals so we vein thinly not too hard then we dry in our apple crate do give this a try with any 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 flower you love to cut out so you are now going to cut out our leaves this time around i'm not using the rose leaf cutter we are going to use a different leaf cutter to cut out a leaf so you can use stakaza lily cutter to cut out a leaf and vein with your leaf in so you're going to gently knead a paste till it's smooth enough and we can start rolling on our groove board so that's what we are doing now we are going to roll spreading the paste across our our groove board then when you have done we gently roll towards the top gently which we have to make sure we are rolling in a way that we wouldn't end up losing our lines behind our leaves so we just roll gently so we are done and when we are done we just take it off then we start cutting out with astagaza lily the cutter we used to cut astagaza lily then we vein with our leaf veiner we are just going to gently lift this off our groove board gently because we wouldn't want to end up having uh paste tearing apart so you're just going to gently leave that out then when you have them we cut out this is the cutter we use for sagaza lily we just cut it out then we push in our wire then with the help of our vena we vein and dry this out as well so we leave every natural leaf has its own curl its own way it comes out so we wouldn't want to just leave this there we have to throw this one as well we, we thin the edges out then we dry it out to make it look more realistic so we push in we dip our wire in our edible glue we push it in gently then with the help of our vena we vein our petal then we can throw and dry the leaves out to get that beautiful realistic look on our edible leaf so when you are done you're just going to gently throw 
that's the only vein I leave. So here we have our vein looking so beautiful. So we have to do a gentle press because sometimes when you are done, it will end up dividing your petals into two. So we do a gentle pushing. Then later on, vein, then we throw the edges. So when you are pushing in, you have to guide it with your hands, your finger tips. You guide it with your finger tips and you push in gently. So we pick up our veiner, adding a bit of corn flour. Then we vein gently. So we do a gentle press so we don't end up messing up our petal. Once you are done, we just gently lift it off our veiner. Then with the help of our ball tool, we are going to fill just the edges. Filling makes your edges thin out a bit. And you shouldn't press it so hard. Just a gentle press. Then you are good to go. So you are just going to thin out the edges. Then afterwards, we just dry out our leaf. Drying out the leaf also makes it stand out more. Once it dries out, you get the realistic look of our edible leaf. You are going to roll again. So in any any time you want to make a sugar flowers, all you need is your groove board. Mostly, each flower has its own gauge wire we use. Each flower comes with its own gauge wire. If you're making a rose, you need gauge 18 wire to, to secure the whole bud and your petals to it. If you're making normal flowers, that is your petal the flowers that you attach to your petals, you need gauge 26. That's what others use. But I normally prefer using 28. 30 is way lighter and it will stress you out. So 28 is best. 26 is also good. But I'd advise going for 28. 26 is a bit tougher than the 28. And with a 22, 20, we also have it on use. So I'd advise you go in for 26 for your petals, which is way better and convenient, and you can adjust it any way without stressing out. So you're just going to cut out the whole leaves that are leaf petals. You have to make sure your, your petals are very thin. Do not roll thick petals because it will end up making your flowers look awkward which was in wouldn't make it really really nice so please make sure your your petals are very thin you dip your wire in your edible glue then you gently push it from the very base you push it gently guiding with your finger tips that's what you are doing so afterwards we just straighten it at the very bottom yes then you are just going to vein and frill and dry that out Making sugar flowers is very easy. It's so, so easy. You have to give it a try. And you can even make this for any simple wedding cake you have. You can try this at home and trust me, you will love it. It takes time, but it's worth it at the end. So I'm just going to throw the edges. So we thin out the edges. And please, when frilling, do not hold your wire do not hold your wire whenever you want to throw out because if you hold your wire mostly when filling the flower the petal ends up moving as you can see it's moving freely so if you hold your wire it will end up coming off your wire because it didn't get any free chance to move itself so that's how we dry the leaves it's so easy it's so simple you have to give it a try you're just going to vein this again this is a different leaf veiner we push in, we vein, then we press the base to make sure it's secured very well. Then we fill the edges and dry that out. So we vein gently, we lift it off our veiner, then we can throw that out. So we have different leaf veiners you can try out with. So we fill this. Let me allow that to dry.
so those are the leaves we've already dried out so now we are going to assemble our beautiful edible flowers we need our 18 gauge wire that's our 18 floral wire gauge 18 floral wire we are going to divide that wire into six or five equal parts then we need our stamen mostly i normally use five stamens and our floral tape i tape my stamens to my gauge 18 wire then i start attaching the petals one after the other that's what i normally do so now our wires are ready we are going to start taping them together so now we pick our stamens we are going to divide the stamens into two the stamens comes in full so you need to just divide them so after dividing our stamens into two we take about 10 then we divide into two then we are going to get 20 so afterwards we pick about five of it so one secret to activating your glue is when you take out your floral tip after taking a piece out you pull once you pull you activate the glue then you touch both ends the part which six more is the part you're supposed to tape with so once you take your floral tape you pull to activate the glue in there that's how we use the floral tape so don't just take your tape and start taping no you have to pull to activate the glue then we start taking our statements together then we push in our 18 gauge wire then we tape everything to we are going to tape everything together then after after we have secured our statements to our gauge 88 gauge 18 wire we are just going to add our petals from the smallest to the medium to the large that's what we do so you're just going to start with the smallest cutter of it all you're just going to start with the smallest cutter then we tape as we tape we keep moving so we are going to do a three three five or three three four formation it's up to you you can tape it three medium three small three medium four large or three small three medium five large or three small three medium three large it depends on how bulky you want your flowers to look like that's your sugar flowers so we're going to add three petals that's the smaller ones then we take everything together then we move on to add the richness so our wedding cakes are almost ready that's the ones we have behind our florist so we are going to take everything together we we'll go to the next size which is our medium and you're going to stick and tape that together as well that's the next three then when we are done we, we have to make sure we are securing everything together so once you are reposition them you tape it to secure them in good place so we are not done by looking at the flower it's already looking so beautiful we are not done yet this is just the first and second cutters which is the small and medium and it's already looking beautiful so you give this a try taping the flower makes it look good at the end cutting it is very important doing everything is very um cutting frilling veining everything is important but when it gets to taping the taping determines the fate of the flowers so you have to make sure you are taping it in a good formation and in a good way you make sure your petals are very tight you you tape them very tightly you shouldn't make them loose because it will end up falling off and please whenever you end up having thicker petals it doesn't help your wire because once you start taping the weight of the petal will, will start falling off no matter how well you position it it will just fall off because the weight of the petal is way heavier than the gate 8 gauge 28 wire you use that's why i advise you thin out your petals before you proceed to arranging or adding your wires to them because if the heavier your petals the heavier your gauge wire has to be if you know you're going to cut a very thick 
per thigh, I think you have to be using 20, gauge 20 or 22. I think that's going to favor you. That's going to help you out. So here we have our petals and we are almost done. So we have three, three, five. We are going to tape it and position them very well. We are going to tape and position them very well. So you see, it's very beautiful. This is also a type of funi. This is also a type of funi, and I'd like you to give it a try. Try this out. Use it for your beautiful wedding cake, your beautiful birthday cake, graduation cake, any cake you can add your sugar flowers to it. So please, as you can see, you tape the base very well. You tape the base very well, and every wire has to be secured while taping. Then when you're done, you readjust your flowers. So as you can see, that's what you're doing here. You readjust your petals, sorry. You're going to readjust your petals to make it look more lively and more beautiful. So do give this beautiful piece a try. I'll be on standby. I'll be in the comment section waiting for you. And please, don't forget to hit the like button. Share with your friends to also learn how to make this simple sugar flowers. So here we have all these lovely sugar flowers we've cut for our wedding cake. Please stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'll be bringing you a very beautiful tutorial on how we came up with that lovely wedding cake. So here we have our sugar flowers and we are steaming the sugar flowers. This is a big and sugar flowers we had to add to our wedding cake. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Michael of MOD's Catering Services.